Hello everyone, welcome to EE Studios and today we're having a look at a brilliant design from Endar. It is the Antares 5 Scout Ship. It's a brilliant exterior design, you've got some turrets on the outside, one missile turret as well as multiple Gatling guns and interior turrets as well. It has both ion, hydrogen and atmospheric thrusters so you can fly this thing pretty much any way you like. It's a really cool, interesting design, it's pretty well protected from enemy fire. Uh, you've got your hydrogen engines for that little bit extra speed and maneuverability in a combat situation if you need to get out of there. It's not designed to be a warship, but it can hold its own in combat scenarios versus something like a corvette or a frigate. And there's a couple other bits and pieces. He's got some nice lore on his workshop page, which is linked below, of course. So starting out on the inside, we have the pretty well-designed bridge. It's got two different levels. And if you go through the back door on the bottom level, you enter a little room with a gravity generator. Leading through there, you have the crew quarters, which are pretty nicely laid out. You've got your uh, little sofa, you've got some beds, and you've got some little uh, appliances and things you need if you're on long voyages on a scout ship. There's a ladder there as well, which leads up to the next deck, but if you go back through to the bridge and then up the stairs, you'll see what you have in store for you next. Which is a little room with a survival kit and kitchen, etc. Next is a little emergency bridge area, I guess. It's not the battle bridge, that's one deck further. And then you have the airlock as well. In this room is also a cryopod, which I guess is helpful in some cases. And of course you can see it's all survival ready. You've got your air vent as well if you have air tightness on. So it's a very well designed ship with no problems at all. Then you enter the battle bridge, which is where you can be completely safe from any incoming fire. It's completely protected. And then there's a locked door, which is off. And if you turn it back on, there is a uh, jump drive as well as some reactors and things in there as well. So that's your secure area for all of your very important parts as well. So then jumping down the ladder, you have the crew quarters again. And I really like this design. It's very impressive, very um, spacious, but yet compact at the same time. And it's, it's impressively designed and I'd love to see what it can do. So we're going to go and fight a couple pirates right now and see how it does in combat and then crash it into the ground to see how well it can cope. Alright, so I've managed to go to one of these Mayday signals and let's see how that goes. Just some target practice for it. There's not much in the way of defense on these. Alright, so that's dead now. Let's keep spinning around it. Alright, now that we've managed to get that out, let's see if we can find some more pirates. I'll be back with you in a minute. So we have a salvage station nearby, and we're going to go and check it out and see how easy this thing takes that out. And protects our precious broken cargo. Oh, we have a drone. Alright, let's see if we can do this. It's giving it quite a bit of a... quite a bit of damage. Let's see. That drone in the background is gone. We're taking a bit of damage, I'll give you that. 
but not too much that this thing doesn't isn't able to handle, it seems. Let's spin us back around. So we've disabled all its weapons, it seems. We're getting quite a bit of damage. And we haven't taken too much, we'll inspect that in a second once there's no more targets left on this. Obviously these pirates aren't the most difficult things in the world to take out, but at the same time it's uh, good test to see if you can take out the things you're going to be meeting along the way. Oh, that took out something important. Cool. So, we got a bit of damage. We'll get out for this one. Um, but as you can see, there's no damage around the battle bridge, which is what it's designed to do. Alright, so let's inspect the damage. So even the main bridge, it's been hit, but it's not dead. I'm sure it would have targeted me more if I'd been sitting here, so that's what the battle bridge is for, but this isn't like, if this was survival, you'd be able to patch this up very quickly, um, if you were able to build this ship. So let's keep looking. So from the interior, that's supposed to be like that. It's all looking fine, so there's no major damage to anything in here. Let's go back upstairs. Okay, so there's a little bit of damage there. That could be interesting if you were... Uh, in this seat, but we're not. We're in the next one. Everything seems fine. And of course, our jump drive is protected as usual. So there's a layer of glass here, followed by another grate up there. So it's pretty well protected. There's a little bit of damage, but uh, overall, I think it took it pretty well. Uh, I think that stationed a couple Gatling guns at least. So, yeah. Let's, um, let's see. It looks pretty bad, but really it's just a bit of armor damage in most cases. Got here along the top there, and not much on the bottom. So there we have it. It was a quick review, but I uh, thought it was quite cool. The Let me know if you like this kind of review, or if you prefer the one of the recent uh, Liftmaster review. And I will see you in the next video. There's a Discord server below if you'd like to join that and meet the creator of this. He's actually in my Discord server. And otherwise, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye.